I love how we are wrapping up the show about a story around napping because I am T minus two hours away from mine. Lifestyle expert and podcaster Adriana Ganko shares the latest research in building rest periods into your day. Hello, Adriana. Good morning. I am so happy to hear that you're a napper. Let's make 2023 the year of the nap. Well, my hours have kind of changed now that I'm in this new gig and I never used to nap, but now because it, it arranges my day differently so I don't have to go and grab my kids right away, the nap is essential because I'm getting up earlier. And I, now I'm just, when I wake up in the morning, all I think about is the nap that I have coming up. So why is, why is napping so important? Oh, I love hearing this. This is so wonderful. I actually did a poll on my Instagram earlier today and it showed that 43% of the people who took this poll never nap. And so I want to change that. I used to be part of that 43% as well. I never napped. I am a busy mom. I have three young boys and I would just push through my day. I have a lot on my plate, like many of you do as well. And so I would just go, 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 push, push, push. I would crash after dinner. You know, I was so exhausted. And thankfully I learned that when I build in a short rest period in my day, you know what, afterwards I feel so much better, so much more focus. I have so much more patience for the kids. And I'm also much more productive and efficient. I am not alone here. The Harvard Medical School actually reported in 2009 that having that midday nap is more effective, get this, more effective than sleeping more in the night, which is great for me to hear because I have a toddler who still wakes up sometimes, and also more effective than that midday caffeine fix. So I think that we should all be napping. The best part about all of this, we don't have to clear our whole afternoons. 15 to 30 minutes is all we need to feel more productive and efficient. That was my next question is like, how much? Now mine is a little bit longer than that. That's I've kind of got worked into, but why 15 to 30 minutes? Do we know why? I think that's just what the science shows that allows us to have that effective rest right. that then allows us to not feel groggy or more tired, which sometimes if we're sleeping for long periods of time, it's signaling to our brains, is it nighttime? Do we have to have a long period of rest? So 15 to 30 minutes is all we need. And I have created a really calming and, and, and nap friendly environment that's going to help us with this. Okay, so what, what, what can help you get there? Because you're going, 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 and then all of a sudden we want to sh shut down. And sometimes our, our minds are racing. How can we kind of soothe, uh, soothe things to get to a nap? Exactly, exactly. So we want to be able to wind down really quickly and then pick back up and carry on with the rest of our day. So I think most of us know that a blanket is a great way to signal that it's time to rest, relax, and have a nap. So I have some beautiful hand-knit blankets that my mother-in-law has knitted for us. Uh, if you have a scarf or a shawl, something that you can wrap around yourself. And depending on where you are, if you have a bed, a couch, even a cozy chair, you can have a nap. I love the science behind weighted blankets. I don't know if you've ever tried one. This is my personal weighted blanket. It is called the Napper, aptly named, and it's by Bear Bee. It really just signals when I place that blanket on me, it is time to rest, it's time to relax, gets me into that napping mode. I'm what else would you about, like to discuss? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing about these weighted blankets and I, don't, I do not have one. What about scent? What about smells? Does that help us? Absolutely. I think we can all attest that certain smells or fragrances, aromas can just take us to a certain place or signal certain things to our brain. So when we want to have a nap, Let's perhaps put some essential oils in our diffuser. I love lavender or eucalyptus. A nice hand cream or lotion can be really helpful. This one is from Wildcraft and it has frankincense and geranium in it, really soothing. I also love a nice room spray. I have some from Sage. This one is a stress release, tension reducing mist. And my favorite, these are roll on applicators. Really easy to use. You can put a little bit on your wrist, perhaps behind your ears. This one's the peppermint halo, which smells really, really nice. It's going to signal to your brain that it's time to rest and relax. Only 30 seconds left. What about, do we need to be setting an alarm? Like, I guess that's key because then we're going to be napping longer than that I think that would that be the most minutes. important thing. You know, we want to close the blinds. Maybe we want to put an eye mask on. I love a weighted eye pillow. This one's from Sporia World. You can listen to some ambient music. And most importantly, set a timer, set an alarm. You don't want to be missing those important afternoon tasks. Amazing. I am now one hour and 50 minutes away from my <laughs> Thursday nap. I know my friend Annette is a big napper too. Adriana uh, Ganko, uh, lifestyle expert and podcaster. Happy napping today. Are you having one now? What time are you having yours? I think this afternoon. Yeah, let's normalize napping. <laughs> okay, here's to napping. All right, let's all have a nap. We'll see you tomorrow on Morning Live. Thank you, everybody.